movie, centered around a Polish rabbi's journey across America, originally had Wayne set to play opposite Gene Wilder. And Ford, fresh off of Star Wars, stepped in and faced unspoken animosity, with director Robert Aldrich often comparing him to Wayne, which is just rough for anybody. Despite these onset challenges though, the Frisco Kid earned over 9 million at the box office, and Ford went on to take on subsequent iconic roles in The Empire Strikes Back, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and Blade Runner, so things worked out for him in the end. While Wayne chose crime thrillers in the mid-70s as some of his final roles, Ford's involvement in the Frisco Kids signaled a changing of the Hollywood guard, and Wayne's passing in June 1979 marked the end of an era. And though Wayne's vocals found an unexpected place in Star Wars via stock audio, the Duke and Ford actually never shared the screen, leaving the Frisco Kid as a unique moment in Hollywood history.